Hey guys, welcome back to Handmade Home. I'm Hester and today I've got a bit of inspirational craft for you. Hope you're keeping well in these really weird times we're going through right now. I don't know if you're self-isolating or social distancing, but you're probably gonna be stuck indoors a lot more. So I thought maybe to help you guys out, I will we'll do um, a few more videos than I normally do. A couple of, couple of videos a week to show you things you can do while you're indoors. Um, things you can make from items you already have lying around, little craft projects, little uh, DIY builds, maybe some projects how to keep your kids entertained and maybe some mindful things as well because it's very good when you're slightly stressed to work with your hands. It's very therapeutic and it's just nice maybe for your hands something to do as well so you can't just scroll on your phone the whole time and check your um, Facebook and news because that's very good for your mind. Um, so today's project, not really my idea. I had a lovely message from a follower on Instagram called Helena Stolka and she at the moment is self-isolating in the San Francisco Bay Area and she really wants to do something for her friends and family that are on the other side of the country and what she wants to do is write inspirational quotes on plates and send them to them and on my Instagram she saw I host a workshop recently with Margot and Margate doing just that, drawing on plates and she asked me if I had some tips on how to do this so I got in touch with Margot, asked her if it was okay to show you guys her workshop and she said yeah of course. So today I'm going to show you how you can draw on plates and make inspiring presents to send to your friends and family. So you're going to need some plates. I picked this one up in a charity shop. I'm still allowed to go outside but uh, guys please be careful when you go outside make sure you stay at least one and a half meter away from your fellow shoppers. And I got these in the pound shop. If you can't go outside, if you're self-isolating, just have a look in your cupboards because for sure you've got plates in there you can use for this. What we're also going to need is a porcelain pen. I'm using the adding pen. It's a really nice thin tip to put drawing on. It's the porcelain brush pen. You can just buy these online. And this one is going to be cured in the oven once we're finished drawing. But please make sure, guys, these plates, when they're drawn on, that strictly for decorative purposes only. Don't eat from the plates once they've been decorated. You can of course be bold and immediately start drawing on your plates, but I think it's good to do a little sketch first. So I'm just on a piece of paper here, I'm going to put my plates in there and I'm going to trace it. I'm also just going to draw out where the design is. So this is just a circle of the stripes. This doesn't need to be the best drawing of your life, it's just so you sort of know what you want to do. And then you got all the space here just to practice your design. I had one here. I initially thought I was going to do the do not worry, be happy. But I think I prefer some more simple. And I'm going to go for some simple letters that says hope. So let me draw the one out on here again. And it's all a smiley face. But yeah, you can draw whatever you like. Uh, I like keeping it quite simple. You can, of course, put a lot of uh, letters on there. My other designs I have. For the squirrel plate, um, don't judge my lovely squirrels there guys, it's just a really quick scratch. I'm gonna write Joy de Vivre, because we all need a bit of zest of life now at the moment. And um, with the dragonfly one, I think it's gonna do something simple like smile even on a cloudy day. But yeah, if you don't know what kind of quotes to do, just have a look at Pinterest, type in quotes, and there'll be loads and loads of inspiring quotes for you. Or you can just copy my designs. So now we're gonna draw on the plate. So with your porcelain pen, and I'm just going to write that. If you make a mistake, you can use a bit of tissue or a baby wipe to rub it back out. Yeah, it's not very straight there. So a quick little rub. And let's try that again. better and um, let's give him a smiley face. Now with my plate down I'm gonna let this dry for 15 minutes and then we're gonna bake it in the oven. It goes on 106 degrees Celsius or 320 Fahrenheit and you're gonna bake it for 25 minutes. Once your 25 minutes are up you're gonna switch the oven off but you're gonna leave your plates inside to cool down. And now we're gonna do the other plates. I got this little squirrel for my parents because they love squirrels and they have a really lovely red squirrel living in a garden. So I thought I'm gonna write down uh, Joy de Vivre, just right over the squirrel, because everybody needs a bit of zest of life at the moment. I'm just photographing these quickly before I popped in the oven and I just realized 
spelling mistakes. Look at that, guys. Joa, you spell J O I E, not the way I did it. So I'm gonna quickly rub this out and do it again. That's better. Good thing I realized before I baked them. Oh my gosh. Uh, I was looking at that. I thought that looks really weird. Yeah. Joa de vivre. There we go. I like to sketch it down in my mind before I start drawing. So I sort of know my placing. And like I said, if it doesn't work out, you can easily, let me show you, wipe it away. There we go. Smile on a cloudy day. Oh, there we go. I might do the Chloe day again. Hey, I think that's a bit nicer. It's cool, you can put on a hanging disc so you can hang them. So, my plates are ready to be wrapped up and sent around the world. Do put a note in there though and say these are strictly for decorative purposes only because once your plate is drawn on, you can't eat from it anymore. And also guys, if you have the virus, please don't send anything to anybody. Don't do any parcels or letters until you're completely healthy again. I want to say a huge thank you to Margot from Margot and Margate for sharing her skill with me and allowing me to show you guys how to draw on plates. If you want to receive one of my plates and you want to have the small plate, Go and find me on Instagram. You can find me on Hester's Handmade Home. Look for the post with these plates on and leave me a note because I will send this plate to um, somebody that comments on there. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and have a look at all my other posts here on the Handmade Home channel. I've got loads of tutorials to keep you busy while you're stuck indoors. So guys, please stay indoors, stay healthy, and I really hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm.